Reykjanes Peninsula of the Iceland is a very interesting place. We have an extension of the earth crust in that area, which is part of the mid-Atlantic ridge. And the stretching of it has created rift valleys. The most famous one at the moment is what I have called Grindavik Rift Valley. We can see the in this area of photographs from the metaphys of Iceland, you can see the rift valley and the fault lines and the range. This is the top of the fault line and the basin where the drop down of the faults and several faults are there exist. Simplified version of that is this, what we think is this, is the stretching of the lithosphere creates this uh, uplift of the magma and uh, eruption. And the source tangy volcanic system is formed here in this setting. We have usually eruptions now for the last uh, four, five, six months. This is how it happens. It stretches the ground due to the uplift. We can map them by the GPS data, as you can see here. And the red line shows where the extension has happened and the uplift. And the uplift of this area creates the bulging of the ground and the bulging that leads to the eruption we can actually see that in the form of the eruption that happens in the Sunuka craters. This is a Swartzengi uh, GPS data we are seeing. Interestingly, when we have the uplift, after the eruption happens, we see a downfall as if the ground falls down due to the magma flowing from the Swartzengi toward the Sunuka crater to the east. In the Elfdorf, we have the opposite of that. Uh, what is interesting east-west direction actually you can see it here we have a contraction of the ground in the east-west direction and the moment eruption happens it starts to stretch back so what we are seeing in the opposite side of it in the green dubik is the exactly opposite of what happens in the Elfdorf. we, uh, we see that the uh, during the, up to the point of the eruption the land is actually stretching until the point of the eruption, then it starts after the eruption to contract. I've tried to show this in this diagram. Extension up to the point of the uh, eruption, then during the eruption and after that, we have contraction of the ground. This makes sense because the land is rising due to the magma accumulation, so it stretches and then contracts. In the adjacent re regions, to the opposite side of the fault lines, you will see the opposite of that. In, when there is extension, you see on that side compression and the opposite again when it happens. This is interesting observation. The land is breathing. You can see that the effect of it on the Elfdorf and the Swartzengi and the Grindavik area.